For the first time, I'm seeing elite runners. Wow. Good morning, everyone. So right now, I'm running the Long Beach Marathon. And of course, I have a map question for you guys. Do some map for fun, right? So suppose I'll be running the first half of the marathon with an average speed of four miles per hour. Question, how fast do I have to run? What's my average speed for the second half of the marathon? So that my overall average speed will be eight miles per hour. I'll let you guys know the answer later. Welcome to Cal State Long Beach! Yeah! I'm at mile 20. And I'll tell you guys the answer to the question. It is impossible. So, if you only ran 4 miles per hour during the first half of the marathon, there's no way, no matter how fast you run during the second half, there's no way for you to have an overall average of 8 miles per hour. It's just not possible! Okay, now let me show you guys why it is impossible to achieve an overall average speed of 8 miles per hour if we only run the first half of the marathon with an average speed of 4 miles per hour, alright? So, you see that overall average speed is equal to the total distance over total time, alright? And we just have to figure out these two things carefully. You may be asking, what's the total distance for the marathon? You should know because you have been watching my videos, right? This is my third marathon video already. Anyway, suppose we don't know, and in fact, we don't have to know, all right? And let me just show you guys the approach when we don't know about the distance. So let me just show you that this is the full marathon, suppose. And then I will say, here is my halfway, all right? And let's say I will call this part to be with distance d. And then likewise, because this is the first half, it must be the same as the second half, which is another d right here. If you label the first half to be d, it's you know, just d, and then likewise the second half it will be just d. I don't want to call the whole thing to be d, otherwise I will have to label this as d over 2. That's fraction, that's no good. Anyway, this is pretty much the course, and now, as I mentioned in the video, I wanted to run the first half of the marathon with the average speed of 4 miles per hour, right? And then, I don't know how fast I have to run during the second half. Well, I'll just call this to be x miles per hour. And at the end, I want the overall average speed to be 8 miles per hour. Alright? So that's pretty much the picture. And now, we can come back here and we'll get back to our usual black and red. On the left hand side, I want to have the overall average speed of 8 miles per hour. Let me just put this down with an 8, and we make this equal to, now, total distance. Based on the setup, this is d, this is another d, d plus d is 2d, alright? So I just have to put down 2d for the total distance. And then next, for the total time, and let's do a quick review on the side. And now, if I want to figure out the total time, I will have to first figure out what's the time that I used for the first half of the marathon, right? I ran pretty slow this time, but you know, it's still pretty good because I didn't train for the last two weeks because I was busy making videos for you guys. Anyway, so for the first half, I will just put down d, right, for the distance, divided by 4 for the speed, right? So total time used right here, it will be d over 4 for the first half of the marathon, and I also have to add, because the reality is, you don't just run the first half of the marathon, you also have to run the second half. And by the way, running the full marathon, it doesn't mean that it's twice as hard as running the half marathon, right? In reality, it's like 10 times harder. But anyway, during the second half, once again, the distance will be d, and then the speed is just x. So right here, we will have d, over x, right? Just like that. And now, as you can see, we have a complex fraction on the right hand side, and this is how we'll take off this. On the left hand side, I will still write down the 8, and this is of course equal to, well, let's multiply the bottom and the top by the lowest common denominator. 
of this and that little fraction, which is going to be 4 and x, right, for the least common denominator. So we multiply 4x on the bottom and the top. And now, pay attention to the d on the top and this 2d in blues on the bottom. Well, actually, let me just do 2 times 4x first, which is 8x, and then we have the d right here. Both of these terms have d. I'm going to factor that, and I will put it at the end, all right? Because for calculus purpose notation, <laughs> purpose in calculus, I don't want to put the d in the front, otherwise it looks like differentiation, but anyway. Factor the d, put it at the end. Now, multiply 4x with the first term, the 4 cancels out, we have x, right? And then the second thing is we have the plus. This time, start the x will cancel out, so we have the 4 like this. And now, the best part is, this d and that d cancel each other out. So that's why I said, you don't need to know the specific distance. And now, do we see anything strange? Yes, right? Because, right here, the moment that we subtract 8x on both sides, this and that cancelled it, good, but this and that also cancelled it. It's strange because now we have 32 on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, this is equal to, we have nothing here anymore, so it's equal to 0. No more x, right? Well, this is impossible. So, as you can see, this is the setup and nothing was wrong. But the truth is, seriously, if we only run the first half of the marathon with 4 miles per hour, no matter how fast we run during the second half, the overall average speed cannot be more than twice, right? More than or equal to twice as the first half, right? So of course, it cannot be 8, it cannot be 8.2, it cannot be 10, it cannot be 9. It doesn't really matter what x is. Of course, you, for the people who know calculus, you can say, take x to infinity, but you know, that's not the reality, right? But anyway, so what does this mean? In order for us to run an average speed of 8 miles per hour for the whole marathon, we better not be lazy during the first half. And hopefully that's also a life lesson as well, right? Because if you want to do this good for the whole thing, do not just do half as amount of work during the first half. This number should have been higher so that you can actually achieve your goal, all right? Anyway, I'm almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Oh my god, so painful. Less than one mile. Oh fuck, that's mile 26. Good man, you got it. Lolita Pop, Long Beach Marathon, yeah! I knew this. Okay. How late? Oh, it's a beautiful one. Yeah. I got the medal again. Woo! That's pretty big. Oh my god. Thanks. Hey. Hi. Okay, today I am. Mr. Pan. And look at my number. Do you want to see? I feel like you're a elite runner. Yay. Okay, this is it for today. Awesome. We'll see you again next time.